Welcome back, Planet Cruisers. Today, we are showing you around the elegantly designed Azamara Pursuit. You may be wondering what she looks like following her retirement as P&O Cruisers Adonia into the refurbishment as Azamara Pursuit in 2018. Or perhaps you are new to Azamara Cruises and would like to see what to expect on board one of their ships. At Planet Cruise, we have years of industry experience and have great relationships with all of the cruise lines. Because of this, we often get on board to experience the cruises firsthand and bring you these videos where we can deep dive into every nook and cranny of the ship and provide you with all of the information you need. And if you like the sound of that, then be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you receive a notification every time we post a new video. So sit back, grab your virtual boarding passes and let's board Azamara Pursuit together. From the outside, you wouldn't believe this ship is over 20 years old. With the fresh new paint job, including a dark blue hull, she was looking fabulous in the Lisbon sun. As soon as you step on board on deck four, you are greeted with the guest relations desk to your left and a grand staircase leading up to the shops and mosaic cafe on deck five to your right. The first instinct may be to check the pool deck, but firstly, let's check out our cabin. During our time on board, we stayed in a club veranda stateroom on deck seven, otherwise known as a balcony cabin. This 175 square foot stateroom is designed with a modern and stylish touch, featuring a blend of warm neutral colors and rich wooden accents. There is plenty of storage, including a private safe drawers and hanging space. There are bags for laundry as well as the complimentary shoe shining service. The wardrobe comes with your very own bathrobes, slippers and even an umbrella. The bathroom has a well thought out layout for its size, including a large sink area and a walk-in shower, complete with complimentary eco boutique toiletries and plenty of high quality white towels that are replenished daily. The queen size bed with high quality linens was very comfortable and can be turned into two singles upon request. The 40 square foot seating area contains a comfortable armchair and writing desk. The desk has US, UK and EU sockets, a fridge with minibar and cupboard space. And yes, there is a hairdryer. The balcony is big enough to accommodate a table and two chairs with enough room to walk around and get the most of the stunning view. An extra feature you may miss is a USB socket under the bedside light. Great for charging your phones or any other electricals. You also have complimentary water bottles replenished whenever empty and 24 hour room service that are happy to cater to every need. As for laundry, if you'd rather do it yourself, there's a guest self-service area complete with washing machines and ironing boards. One of the less glamorous parts of the ship, but very handy nonetheless. We were lucky during our time on board that there was a free Club Ocean View stateroom available for us to view. The layout varied by having the seating area before the bed, but apart from that, it offered pretty much everything the balcony stateroom has. The window let in plenty of light and had near 180 degree views of the ocean. Now the pool deck. Situated on deck nine, it is complete with a moderate sized pool, two hot tubs, a stage for entertainment and a pool bar. There were plenty of sunbeds, not a single white plastic sunbed in sight here. All are cushioned and contain a folded towel ready for use. Not once did we struggle to find a sunbed. Not surprising really, with a capacity of around 777 guests on board this ship. We briefly skim through the pool bar drinks menu here, so if you see something you want to read, then feel free to pause. Or if you want to crack on with the rest of the tour, then skip forward 50 seconds.
upper pool deck on deck 10 doubles as a walking slash jogging track. Great if you want to keep fit while away or simply want to work off that dessert from the night before. On the forward section, there are stairs leading up to an upper sun deck area. There's slightly less traffic here and it offers superior sea views. Not like it's very busy on the pool deck, but it gives you another option to choose from. This private cabana style bed was a great spot for late night stargazing. On the aft of the ship deck 9 is where the Windows Cafe is located. This is the buffet available for breakfast, lunch and dinner. It offers stunning ocean views either side of the ship, as well as an outside seating area at the wake called the Sunset Veranda. There was plenty of food options for all tastes and dietary requirements, including a dedicated plant-based section. This is something that many cruise lines are still struggling to implement, so this is a great testament to the quality of food and service on board Azamara ships. Spot the dolphin following the ship as we enjoyed our breakfast. Leaving the Windows Cafe starboard side brings you out to the patio, located on the pool deck. This offers burgers and hot dogs throughout the day, including an unworldly amount of toppings and salad choices. There is also a self-service ice cream machine. Here's a look at the menu. Be sure to pause if you'd like to read it all. From here, if you walk through to the forward of the ship, you'll find the Sanctum Spa and Gym area. The Sanctum Spa features a range of facilities such as treatment rooms, relaxation areas and saunas. If you have paid for the spa, you'll gain access to the Sanctum Terrace, a private relaxation deck area with hydrotherapy pool. Here is the salon. As well as getting your hair cut, you can get a manicure and pedicure.
the spa uses and offers high quality skincare and wellness products for sale, so you can continue your self-care routine at home. The gym, while fairly small, contains everything most people would need, including a spin class area, treadmills, resistance and cable machines, and a free weight area. There is also a fridge with complimentary chilled water. A nice touch. The card room is a small corner of the living room dedicated to board games and internet surfing. The living room itself is a large music lounge and bar area, offering very comfortable seating and live evening entertainment. During the day, you can find various activities here. I stumbled across bracelet making one day and wine tasting the next. Be sure to check your ship's daily schedule located in your stateroom to see the full list of the day's events and activities. The forward-facing seats are a great place to kick off your shoes and enjoy the sunset after a few glasses of wine. The drawing room. This is the ship's library, a very quiet area to sit and relax and enjoy a good book away from any noise. This room has a very interesting feature in the form of this beautiful ceiling mural. Next are the speciality restaurants, starting with Prime C. Prime C features an elegant and intimate ambiance. The decor includes rich wood panelling, leather seating and subdued lighting, creating a warm and inviting atmosphere. The design is reminiscent of a classic steakhouse. The menu is primarily focused on high quality steaks and chops, often prepared to your preference, whether it's rare, medium rare or well done. In addition to steaks, the menu includes a variety of seafood options and other classic steakhouse dishes. Prime C offers an extensive wine list with a range of options to complement your meal. The sommelier can help you choose the perfect wine to pair with your selected dishes.
If you'd like an extensive look at the wine menu, then be sure to pause at any moment. If you'd like to skip forward to the Aquilina Speciality Restaurant, then click forward 60 seconds. Aquilina features an elegant and intimate ambiance, creating a refined romantic setting for diners. The decor includes Mediterranean inspired elements such as warm colors, fine linens and tasteful artwork. Aquilina's menu is influenced by Mediterranean flavors and dishes. You can expect a selection of seafood and Italian-inspired cuisine, including dishes like fresh seafood pasta and flavorful Mediterranean ingredients. From $85 per person, you can enjoy a three-table tour. This includes one night at Prime Sea, one night at Aquilina, and a third night at either one of your choice. There are other packages that include more nights in the restaurants or a chef's table experience. Speciality dining is complimentary for sweet guests. Now, as for the dining experiences, that leaves us with the main dining venue, Discovery's Restaurant, located at the aft of the ship Deck 5. The Discovery's Restaurant is the main dining venue on Azamara Pursuit. It offers a more casual and relaxed dining experience compared to the speciality restaurants and is included as part of your cruise holiday. The decor is elegant with tasteful lighting, comfortable seating and a welcoming atmosphere. The menu at Discovery's Restaurant offers a wide range of international and contemporary cuisine. You can expect a variety of appetizers, salads, soups, main courses and desserts. The menu changes daily, offering passengers diverse dining options. If you have any special dietary requirements, then be sure to let the maitre d' know on your first day. The staff will cater to your needs and remember you for the rest of the cruise, taking away any stresses or concerns you may have over dining. On Deck 5 midship, you'll find the shops. Indulgences is a designer jewellery store. It's the perfect place to window shop or find that extra special purchase. In the Pursuit shop, you'll find an array of Azamara branded clothes and accessories, watches, designer handbags and fragrances. Just across from the shops, you'll find a seating area and the Mosaic Cafe. Here you can grab a proper coffee, pastry and sit still for a moment before a busy day ashore.
Cabaret Lounge is where you'll find the ship's main entertainment. Enjoy live performances of professional full-stage musical reviews, classical soloists, bands and other entertainment. It also features a full bar. Be sure to check the daily schedule as there are often guest speakers throughout the day. Lastly, we bring you to The Den, the midship bar on Deck 5. The Den is known for its cosy and welcoming ambiance. It is designed as a comfortable space for relaxation and socialising. Surrounding this area, you'll find the guest services such as shore excursions, cruise again booking station, and the photo gallery. And that brings us to the end of our time on board as Amara Pursuit. We hope you enjoyed your time on board. If you enjoyed this video and aren't subscribed already, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to receive a notification every time we post a new video. And until next time, happy cruising.